match problem one uh, really doesn't require any calculus or algebra. It's literally just taking values and plugging them into the formula appropriately. Uh, but we'll take a look at this one just to make sure um, we're familiar with how to use the calculator to evaluate exponential functions um, and just clarifying where these different values go. So in this, in this case, we are wondering what amount will be in an account after five years. So that's our length of time. If we're investing $100 as our principal investment at an annual interest rate compounded continuously of 8%. So our final amount is going to be equal to our principal investment times E to the interest rate, 0 0.08, times the amount of time, times 5. So to type this into your calculator, this would be 100 times, and then to access E, we would press the second key, and then up above the division button, you'll see the letter E there. So we'll press that to get that constant E. And then the exponent button, uh, depending on your calculator, you may actually get this superscript writing, or you may just see a little caret. Uh, either way, it's a good idea to put everything that, we're ra everything that is in that exponent in a set of parentheses just to make sure order of operations are followed correctly. So this is going to be 0 0.08 times 5, and we can close those parentheses and press Enter. So our $100 invested for five years with an 8% interest rate compounded continuously is going to give us a little over $149. So this comes out to approximately $149 and 18 cents. So we're not told where to round this, but if we're dealing with money, we're not going to be given fractions of a cent. So we would always just round money to the nearest cent, whatever that happens to be.